I'm Chef Mark with LearnToCook.com. In this session today, we're preparing an Italian dressing from scratch, a homemade Italian dressing. Well, you'll want to get, of course, this perhaps Italian white wine vinegar, but any white wine vinegar will work. Uh, perhaps Italian olive oil, but even California olive oil works fine. So to make this preparation, you can use a bottle to shake the Italian dressing in because it is an unemulsified dressing. It will separate. We can put it into a blender and emulsify it, so it's your choice. If you emulsify it, then all the suspended spices will stay in suspension. You'll just have to shake it up a little bit. So let's see what we have. So I have my food processor. I have uh, white wine vinegar. I like to use white wine vinegar because it's made from white wine as opposed to distilled white vinegar, which really isn't that good for cooking. You can use it to poach eggs, but it really isn't that good for eating distilled white vinegar, more used for cleaning because it's very high acid. So something that's made from white wine could have a nice flavor. Let's add some sugar to that. The better vinegar quality you get, you can use champagne vinegar, uh, white wine vinegar, you can even use raspberry vinegar, but the more higher quality vinegar you get, the better tasting Italian dressing you'll have. Same with the olive oil. So add some sugar to soften some of the acidity. And then I added lemon juice, fresh squeezed lemon juice. And now we're going to add our various spices in order. A teaspoon of garlic salt, because it dissolves easier than, than powdered garlic. Same with the um, onion salt. Now you can mince up onions if you want and add it to it, but again, there'll be raw onions inside. So the garlic salt and the onion salt also give you that savory salt flavor and you don't have to mince up garlic and onions. And sometimes that deteriorates also in a dressing. Then ground black pepper. And then we have four dried spices. Dried Italian parsley, right? Dried basil. Dried oregano. Again, using the dried, the fresh will deteriorate if you use fresh herbs. That's why we use dried. And lastly, dried basil. So we had Italian parsley, thyme, oregano, and basil. Let's put the top on it. Give that a little spin. And now we can stream in our, stream in our olive oil into that. So close the top, and then pulse it. And we'll just add some oil to that, just a little pulse. We'll add about a half a cup of olive oil to that. So now we want to take out our Italian dressing. And pour it into a bowl. And now you're ready to use that for any salad. Enjoy your Italian dressing.